First bit of problem, I thought this is high enough. Hey, what's up Reefers? Today's video is gonna be awesome. This is a update that is almost one year in the making. This is about the 150 gallon tank build that has been going on for a year. For those of you who may have joined after I got the tank, let me just catch you guys up to speed really quickly. Basically my good friend Telegram has a friend that has an uncle that's giving away a 150 gallon tank. So we went ahead, picked it up. It is a freshwater tank, not drilled, but it is in perfect condition. It is a four foot long tank, two foot wide and 31 inches in height. So it is a tall tank. I want something tall because I'm done with the cube tank. I've tried it, I like it, I want to see what else is out there. I thought about doing a lagoon, but at the moment, I really want something I can stand in front of the tank and it will just engulf me. Almost like I'm looking into the depth of the ocean. After we moved the 150 gallon tank into the house, life took over, things got busy. During this time, I set up a nine gallon planted tank, a 10 gallon budget tank, a tiny mini complete tank. I took down the nine gallon planted tank and here we are again. During this time, I tried to build the stand because the stand that came with the tank is for fresh water. It is kind of low and it has a really wide center brace. It's not the most beautiful stand if I have something there. So I thought, you know, it may be a good chance for me to pick up woodworking so I went ahead bought all the power tools and what do you know I used it maybe once through this year I kind of shaped up my woodworking I got some help from you guys and I finished the stand I actually finished the stand and the whole process took about nine months there were certain point during the stand building process that I was ready to quit number one I messed up the dimension of the top board that sit on top of the stand I did not factor in the trim of the tank because I'm so used to rimless tank where four foot means four foot where in this case four foot yeah I gotta add a little bit for the trim so I recut the board painted the whole thing sealed it and everything finally looks good but the second big disaster struck. So with the panel, I used magnetic panel to hold them in place, but these wood has to be light. So I use a quarter inch board. Before painting is perfect. But after I apply paint, I guess I left it out in the sun for too long. They warped and they curled up. As a result, when I put it against the stand, they no longer really stick flat. It's really bad. But at this point, it is already a little bit over a year since I've had this tank. I realized that if I do not move forward, I think that's it. It's just gonna sit in my kitchen forever. So I figure, you know what, forget the panel. But the most important thing is the structure of the stand and it is sound, it is waterproof, it is ready to go. So I figure, let's move forward. So I enlisted the help of my local reef squad. Flashback. Very exciting time, finally moving the big tank into place. First challenge, you realize that the door, how it is right now, does not actually fit the tank. The tank cannot come through. Jim is now taking off the stopper. What's up, y'all? There you go. Moment there of it truth. Ah, oh, yes. Let me get tape measure. Teamwork. Give Teamwork. us some good news. We need good news. We need good news. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah? Yeah. It's yes. at 25. You know why you were coming here? I knew I was going to move the tank. Then he why? thought there was a Justin what Bieber happened concert. to you? <laughs> But I didn't think it'd be a journey around the whole house. <laughs> what is up guys? Uh, we are at this guy's house in a Purple Reefer and check it out. Woo, woo, it's woo. 150. It's happening. It's happening. He's it's gonna happening. fill it up today. It's happening. Well, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah, well, there's another guy that's asking for like 4,500. But then this should be okay. Yeah, I think it's time for a new death man. Just throw Did it down. Did you buy saw? I did. <laughs> I've been, building, I've been building this uh, stand for the year. It's okay. It's not my guy. Exo! Exo! Oh, mother! Just lift. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? One what? Something oh, bite you? Nice <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna need more than a dollar. Nice stand. That's a 360 nice camera. <laughs> Ooh. You good? Hello. Oh, a hole. Come on, come on, a hole. I'm good. You can drive it. Are there questions? Yes. Do they know you're the little blonde kid? Oh, he fits! Yes. Whoa! Woo! Woo! Step one. Da 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 da! Good! Yay! Good job, Good job, Danny. Thank you. <laughs> right here is a firefly. Oh, I know. Oh, no! <laughs> it's dead! <laughs> Because I'm kicking him back to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the kitchen! <laughs> uh, after you get married, things change. <laughs> Fingers are in. Put your finger in. And then 
and pick. Yes, it is Telegram. Okay, roll. You ready? I'm ready. Danny, yeah. Are you gonna Do you want some C4? Man, you help Let's rough. go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Oh, it's just as heavy as I remember. I would laugh if you break it. <laughs> I'm ready to. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, this sucks. Good. Sweet baby Jesus. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, mine's slipping. Can we put it down? Do you want it? Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up for Mogi. Pick it up for Mogi. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Woo, cut. Ooh, Just picture hold time. It. Hold that. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take 10 pictures, okay? You guys can swing if you want. Okay, we'll swing that. All right, go on all four sides, all four sides. Then go over and grab that side. Which one? Right there, long side. Yeah, kind of heavy. Gravity's playing in our favor. Rest Are you okay, Mogi? Yeah, yeah. Quick rest. I'm putting on my tie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going now? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the tape In the basement. To my car. Watch the holes, watch the holes. I can't see. Okay, I can't see. Okay, so are you putting on a wood? Well, on the woods. Watch out, that's like a rolling on the left. I can't see. Okay. Everything cleaned out because that would suck. Uh, one more, one more in the corner. Ooh, good job. Yay, now you're Ooh. on the inside. <laughs> this was, this was yeah, a lot lighter. Is it lighter? This is a uh, lot lighter. I think it's easier because there's no stairs too. <laughs> yeah, probably gravity. Okay. You're cool with it being this low. Yes. And then lock lining up, so it points a up a little bit. bit of, yeah, I, know. I think it'd be okay. Should be all right. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude, this is going away. Oh yeah. So funny story. Um, I guess some of the people didn't know. These girls. Take a little bit to kind of lock in. Huh? Just the group. Yeah, I'm just catching that in. So now here's a key step: drilling the tank. And we got Mr. Telegram Aru Sensei right here, managing a drill, and Mr. John Castle right here helping out. We got, of course, our camera lady, and we got Alex right there. The water helps um, keep this lubricated and, and a little colder. So, people ask what fish you have inside. Mixed reef, not sure about fish yet. Maybe a puffer fish? Maybe? Ooh, Maybe? Really? Okay, my puffer? That would be cool. So, while you're doing this, I know a lot of people got questions about drilling tank. Yeah, Do you that's have any why tips? I stop. Yeah, so never push. Uh, only use the weight of the drill itself. Drill a tank with bum friends who are gonna sit inside giggling the whole evening. Like these guys right there? Yeah. <laughs> and then just take your time, because you're in no hurry. Now, how high do you normally, like how do you pick the spot to drill? Uh, I don't know, I didn't. I just sort of picked it based off the spots that we picked last time, and we just legit guessed. My kind of guy. This is a 35 millimeter bit and it will support a three-quarter inch return. Are you going flat straight down? I am going flat straight down right Got now. it. So and you have the bottom of the hole so that you don't break Yeah, did you tape it? Good tip, yeah, we did that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's actually you know a great said? thing. They said tape it? Yeah, 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 Solid. it's taped right now. So yeah, we got tape here just so that once you go through, the whole thing does not just kind of fall over and and smash the glass on our side. Now we're drilling this because we know that this is not tempered. Like all four sides are not At tempered. At least we hope this side's not tempered. I mean, we drilled two holes, so yeah, I assume that would be okay. Yep. But I think the bottom is according to yeah, it could be. something that mentioned, somebody so just, mentioned. Yeah, biggest thing, take your time because you're not in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, then you're gonna break the tank and then you're gonna need another one. Yep. Oh, that's gonna leave the flat How many on I don't have I'll send you some slow motion shots. Still, still a little, almost there, huh? Oh, I went through already. I don't think it, it didn't go through yet. One more, one more tank. Okay. But it did grab. Oh, there it is. Whoop! Nice. Oh, it's clean. Beautiful, beautiful. Reef Sensei did it again. We haven't broken it yet. Uh, we yeah. keep trying. Emily. 
Go to, go to your left. Your left. Your left. Go straight in the path. Straight path. Oh, this is so. Oh, this mosquito on my ear. Oh. oh tight like a don't tiger. help him. Okay. Leave it this? there. I'm about. Oh, I'm too short for this crap. <laughs> Hold on. Good, good, good. Watch your pinky. Watching. All right, I'm up. I'm up. Slide in, please. Please fit. Please fit. Oh. Fit. 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 Hold on. It would be great if the tank you okay? was one inch too big. For yeah, it's no big deal. There's a spider. Oh, uh, you can be Spider Man. <laughs> I'm afraid of Spider Man. Let's, let's make this a... Uh, what do you want to do? Oh! oh. Wait, wait a minute. minute. Ooh. If you guys stay tuned, he's going to fill it up now. Yeah! <laughs> I wonder if this is actually... Fit. This has been sitting what in the house for a year. Oh, seriously? That is a Fiji cube something. Dude. It is huge. Uh, That's what she said. Shelly says that she's doubtful you're ever going to say that. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> well, look. Maybe 20. Well, the promise date was 2020, right? So I still got a year, a year and a half. Six months, actually. Six months. Okay, we're, we're in shoot three. Just like shoot three. I didn't see like two one of 2020. Are we group shot? Yeah, group shot. Uh, yeah. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Make sure we can see. Done. Look at this. This is a good test. This is a good test. You can't the stand is sound, yes! Structurally sound. <laughs> Alright, get out of here before we crack the bottom. Thank you to Ben from Vertex. Uh, I've been super patient in terms of me using this. This is a skimmer from them, the Omega 180i, and it has been sitting in my house for close to one year, so I'm shelf. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's some big fancy. That's some fresh hotness right there. Alright, let's see. You're good there. Yeah, but how are you gonna uh, empty so you it? You want to wrap it like this, this way? Yeah, you, yeah. you gotta make sure that like it only gets like that. Because <laughs> 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 it can tilt it, right? <laughs> and it's all gonna get <laughs> We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll siphon it out. <laughs> First bit of problem. I thought this is high enough. Right. Well, it is. It is. It's it just this. This is uh, pretty high. Very tall as well. So I guess when I take it off, I can go like. Oh, there you go. Pass the touch. That's okay. Have a touch. Have a touch. Have a touch. Whoa. Further. There you go. Really? You got to exhale. Yeah, that's much yeah, better. That's much better. Good call. Smart man. It works? It works. Woo! Woo! Where'd you go? You gotta go. Woo! Woo! Max out! Mix up is the plumbing. Put the mag inside of it. Moki! Yo! You're a dance machine. Yeah! Wow! You're a dance machine. Flossing? No. I can't do it. <laughs> Jim. Oh no. You're a dance machine. <laughs> He's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> John, you're a dance machine. He's ready. Oh. Dance the player. Woo! Oh, oh. Hang on, I'm just the nice. Daniel! <laughs> you're a dance machine. <laughs> Here's what I'm stuck with. Everybody else is upstairs having fun. I gotta put the stupid slide door back. Together. Content creator. Not Look at this guy. YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> it is nothing less than a minor miracle that the 150 gallon is now sitting in the basement. And the stand is looking beautiful, the panel is sitting flush, everything is perfect. I am extremely, extremely, extremely lucky with all the things going on and the people that I know. The next step of the tank is to figure out plumbing. In that aspect, I am a complete newbie. I have never plumbed my own tank. And on top of plumbing, I also gotta figure out what kind of equipment I want, what kind of return pump I want, 
important? Do I want some kind of auto tester to monitor the tank and maybe even auto doser? Do you guys have any recommendations? My plan is to get this tank up and running within two months. So if the tank is not up and running before the kit comes, then it may have to sit there for another year. So if you have any equipment recommendations, any plumbing recommendations, any general tips and tricks that you can share, please leave a comment below. I think it is still slowly sinking in that I actually have the 150 gallon tank down in the basement right now. We just need that tiny little kick at the end to get it up and running and I'm very, very excited. Certain mornings I find myself kind of sitting in front of a tank trying to envision what I want in this tank and I have a couple ideas and I'll run it by you guys pretty soon. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next Sunday at 12.30 p.m. shop. Later. Hey, what's up reefers? Really exciting morning because I met up with a local reefer to buy some corals. Check this out.